Ladies and girls, my name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com and Real Illusion Forum. I want to do this tutorial real quick. Somebody had asked me <clears throat> earlier uh, about combining skins from, um, basically from like Daz, uh, but basically it can be anywhere. Combining skins with the headshot results. So here we have a headshot. I have this Asian uh, actor, fellow, I'm not even sure who he is, uh, but I, I generated him from this from this shot here. And what we'd like to do is combine his body skin with uh, the head that's generated in, in Headshot. Uh, it's kind of tricky because uh, at first glance you might think, well, you know, I can go in. There happen to be uh, Asian skins. If I go into the skin tab, this is your, your texture skin tab, and you go down to your, uh, let's just say essential skin. Let's pretend that, that one of these, the, the process is the same no matter whether you're doing it from this, these skins or from the Daz skins. You can bring in the Daz character, and then you can save the skin out separately. So how do I, how do I make this Asian male skin work here? Well, I can't just go ahead and apply this. If I do that, it's going to actually apply it. No matter what you do here, it's going to excuse me, apply it to the entire character. And, and you'll notice it, it changed the head skin, too. Made it darker too, but I'd like to keep it the same lightness. But I, what I want to do is, if you look at this, this character's got hair on him. If I if I go back to the uh, previous uh, skin, I'm just doing the uh, just doing the backwards thing. You can see this guy's got no skin. So I want to have that body skin, but the same tone as his head, the headshot that generated it. So how do I use that other skin? And, and this is even worse for females. I would show you females, but, you know, I might get censored by YouTube nowadays. Uh, but as you know, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of really good female skins in Daz. You might want to combine with a female head. So anyway, how do we do it? Okay, first thing you want to do is we want to go to the body skin itself uh, out here. And we want to save this skin out. We want to take this skin and save it out. Uh, you also want to do the same for the uh, skin that you're trying to do it for. So you apply it to your character, go to the diffuse color, and save it out. Same way here, we're going to go to this diffuse color. And I've already done that. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that uh, other skin that I saved elsewhere uh, to in on top of this. And you'll notice the first thing is it's too small. Uh, so I'm not going to, to do that. I'm going to cancel that out. Uh, it's actually, I think the skin here is 2K resolution, and this happens to be 1K. So you want to make sure the resolutions match. So instead of dragging it in, I'm actually going to open it up with Photoshop. Bring it into Photoshop here as, a, as another texture. And then I'm going to go ahead and size that back up to 2048. And now it's exactly the same size as the other skin. So you want to make sure the skins match up. You could, I could have sized it up when I dragged it over, but it's just easier to do it this way. And now I'm copying it and pasting it there, okay? So now I have the skin I want to use on top of this other skin. But how am I going to just put it on? Uh, I can't just put just substitute the textures. You know, you might say, well, that's, that's what you could do, Mike. You could just go in here and just go ahead and substitute that texture. Just put that in. Well, well that's not going to work. <laughs> and as you can see, there's going to be hard line divisions anywhere. And even if I, even if this texture was close to the same skin color, there would still be those hard line divisions. That's not really the way we want to go. So that's a, that's a clever idea, but that's not what we're going to do. So instead, we're going to kind of blend this in. The blending is pretty simple. You grab this lasso too, or whatever tool you're going to use in your own editing program. Uh, this could work with other editing programs. And basically what I'm going to do is kind of cut out around the, uh, the head um, area, the skin area for the head because that's the area that I want to blend in. Same for the legs. Now, if you might be using the other legs, so you don't have to blend so much, but the principle is the same no matter what you're going to do. You definitely have to blend for the head. If you're going to put in the arms and, and the legs of, that, of your other skin texture, you don't have to make the lines go out so far this way. But either way, it's, it's about the same principle. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and do the select... And I'm going to inverse it. And then I'm going to edit and cut this out. And cut it out. I'm getting this stuff. All my emails coming in. Okay, so now we have this, this texture laid down here. And now I think you've seen this where I've done this in other things. We're going to go ahead and adjust it. And always the adjustments to do, the levels adjustments are great for getting this level to be 
uh, about the same color. So we're going to play around with the midtones and the uh, and the tones until we get it just about right to the same color. It's a little a little tricky. Take that out. Get this here pretty close. And we're just trying to get it as close as we can. We don't necessarily have to have it perfect, but we want to get it pretty close. That's there we go. It's pretty close right about there. So you're going to see it's going to blend in enough that we're going to not see those lines when we get it right here. Okay. So say okay. And then we're going to merge those layers down. And now we've got this thing. And I think you've seen me do this before. Now I'm going to take my healing brush and zoom in. And now I'm just going to blend in. Now you can use, there's also blend. You, there's all kinds of things you can do to um, make these textures kind of merge into each other. I always like to use the healing brush. The healing brush to me seems to work the best, but uh, whatever whatever you happen to like in your own uh, particular style, everybody's got a different style, and I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, uh, but you know, essentially it's going to take a, a 10 or 15 minutes to uh, to get it exactly right, blend it in over there. And what you really try to do is, like I say, you're gonna to try to get that blending of that head because that's the important one. Uh, if you're using the same skin down on the arms, then you don't even actually have to even cut this out here. You can actually have drag this out over to the edges because the arms will blend just fine using your, uh, using your same skin once you've adjusted the tonals for it. So, uh, so anyway, that's just basically what we're doing. I'm not going to, like I say, I don't want to go through the whole thing here because it might take a, more time than you have want to watch it, but I'll just finish the head part of it. Get it all smoothed out there. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay. Something, something like that. Okay. And then once you're done with that, you can save it out. And I've already saved this out once again. This is a cooking show. So I have what's known as my texture here. So I'm going to drive in, drive, drive in. I'm going to drag in my texture into here. And this has that, um, it doesn't. Okay. Um, why does my texture have that? That's interesting. Uh, okay. So now. I'm going to load in. <laughs> I'm going to load in. Uh, I don't know. So now I'm going to save that as export out. Quick export is PG. Uh, just to exports. And we'll just call it uh, my Asian. I, I guess I've already done this at some point. Yeah, I guess I've done this. But in any case, do that. Bring this in here. Open up and do my Asian. And now you'll see he has the hair on his body. So we have that Asian hair. You see there's still some lines here. Again, that's because we didn't, uh, uh, you know, correctly or not. We didn't get the arms in yet, so which you'd have to do that. But you can see there's no lines here on the uh, neck. So the neck is blended in really good there. Looks good. So that's that's how you can do it. Essentially, you're overlaying those uh, those textures on top of each other and using it to blend. And like I say, for the arms, you can just cut this and then put in those Asian arms. You just have to match up the colors using that same levels adjustment that I did. So hopefully this all makes sense to you as to how you can combine custom skins with uh, whatever the head shop head produces. And uh, we'll see you on the forums.